Uh, squad update, squad update. Yeah, look. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we lost uh, Liam Scales and Troy Parrot, but um, we've Ryan Manning has come in. He had a minor procedure at at a, at a slob and thankfully, look, it was a watch and brief to see how um, he was uh, progressing. And thankfully, um, it's all gone well for him. And he joined up with us yesterday, and uh, obviously, he'll be into the into the squad straight away. And uh, Touch wood, everything else is uh, all fit and fighting well. I know you spoke earlier on the week, but it's maybe been a full week now. How has the, mm. the week been for you, first week in the job? Yeah, amazing. Really, really good. But I think that's helped by the support staff I've had around me too. And ultimately, um, the players, I think they're the key to it. So if they're uh, buying into it and obviously showing the desire and attitude, application to uh, be aggressive and take things on and show that in the training and but obviously it, it comes to the crux of it now in terms of picking the team and um, looking forward to the game as well. I know you said earlier on the week you had kind of team selection in your own head and knowing all the players well was has anybody surprised you this week? No, no look no one surprised me. Look I know the, the group well. Obviously the staff um, got eyes on some of the players obviously uh, for the first time in the flesh shall we say and um, look it was as I mentioned, everyone's been obviously uh, a, a freshness to it, in, in, shall we say, in terms of um, seeing a couple of new staff, a couple of new players in the squad as well. Um, you have that freshness to us and look, a relaxed atmosphere, but also a proper um, learning curve as well in terms of what we're going to be looking for to do the job against Belgium. Obviously, you've had some proud days in the green jersey just where will tomorrow race when you take that dugout yeah right up there it has to be um, an incredible honour and you um, managing your country um, to get the chance to represent um, Ireland from under 15 onwards um, at all the levels and then captain your country as well and now to get the chance to be involved coaching with the 21s coaching with the senior team and now being a manager it's um, amazing and one and one Myself and the family are really proud of. Thank you. Josh, can I ask you um, how you're looking forward to this Belgium? You were involved the last day to all draw. Um, what did you learn from that about the Belgians, do you think? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, I think we're all, all, all really looking forward to the game. Um, it feels like it's been a long time since, since November, so any time we get to meet up as a group again um, is always great and it's been a brilliant Brilliant week, obviously working under the, the, the new manager and his staff. Um, we've all really enjoyed it. We know again, like you said, touching on the, on the game we, we played against Belgium before, we know that they've got, got top quality players. It's going to be a tough test for us. Um, but yeah, the, the focus is on, on what we can bring to the game. We're confident going into the game that we've, we've worked on a good game plan throughout the week. Um, we know how, how good of players we have in the squad and, and we're looking forward to to putting that into practice tomorrow night. And Glenn William is one of the coaches added to the coaching ticket by, by John. Um, has he been chatting to you in particular about that midfield role? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it's been been great to have Glenn in, as as well as all of the other staff as well. Um, yeah, Glenn was part of the squad when I first came into the squad under under Mick McCarthy. So to to see him again and, and have him back in and and get little pointers throughout the week on on. Um, on the midfielder's role within the within the game plan for the team um, has been great and yeah just trying to soak up as much of the advice and, and knowledge that, that Glenn and all the staff have and and hopefully like I said put that into practice tomorrow he's been trying he's, he's been trying to tackle the midfielder so he <laughs> have to rein him in a bit but yeah. the lads have avoided him yeah. because Glenn's role was uh, sometimes an unsung one in a way like protecting the back four keeping the keeping the ball moving yeah, definitely. I think, um, yeah, look, having trained with Glenn and, and seen him play um, close up, I know that, that he had much more than that ability-wise. Um, but sometimes I think the the biggest compliment you can give to, to players like Glenn is you probably notice more when he's not playing the job that he does for the team. Um, the role that he carries out um, was always fantastic. And, yeah, someone that, that I always watched and tried to learn from and... And um, yeah, it's been like I said, it's been great to have him around the squad this week. 
John, can I ask you, when, <clears throat> when will you pick your team and when will you tell the players? And Yeah, the players will, will know today um, at some stage uh, what the team will be. Um, I think it's important that and then you can obviously focus down on a few more finer details, shall we say. And then, um, look, as I said, it's that's where you come to the crunch time in terms of final preparation, final details and then um, everyone on board because that's what obviously we spoke about right from day one in terms of the two games, plenty of players playing, plenty of substitutes being needed to finish the game just as strong as you start it because um, the good thing is there's good players in form as well so it's a nice problem to have in a few positions. And Nathan? Did you, did you just one last one. Did you think at all of maybe going to the Aviva today for some of the players who, the likes of Sammy or Fame who hadn't actually played there? No, we did. We spoke about it but look, it's one of them um, in terms of the plan and preparation side of things it just fits in better to, to stick to the routine of, uh, of Abbottstown. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Hey John, um, hey, I saw one of those videos that went out during the week, it was a picture this in playing with the, with the yeah. team and you were saying afterwards that it was good to get a younger band in for sort of a new, younger generation hmm. and maybe not, I don't think Brian was looking for Christy Morrison. <laughs> uh, how different is this, like what's 23 years probably since you came in to the squad first, yeah. when you look at these younger lads, how different a group are they, how, how different are they around the hotel than say the crew you came in with? Yeah, but that's just uh, obviously younger people in general isn't it now and obviously the players um, have different uh, what's the word I'm looking for different uh, skill sets in terms of more relaxed more chilled different uh, obviously environments and obviously backgrounds that they're coming from as well so you put all that mixed together and it's uh, you, you get different personalities And uh, but from what I first noticed when I came in to work with the senior team um, it's just a really proper group of lads that want to work well, do well for Ireland, and uh, hopefully that will happen very soon. You obviously have plenty of people around you at the moment for advice, but you know, you've a vast range of contacts. Who are the <coughs> other people you've been tapping up over this week, the last few weeks, for advice on how to approach this week and you know, connect with those younger players? Yeah, look, I think that's where I just kept it in, in my head um, very simple in terms of the staff that I brought in. And I thought that that was, I didn't want to be, because as you said, look, there's lots of amazing people and it'll be one of them um, that I'll be able to touch into that uh, connections afterwards as well in terms of uh, the learnings from the two games as well and how you, how you progress. That would be a big thing too. But ultimately, I just wanted to focus on the staff and myself and the players and not be worrying about too much outside, uh, outside noise. Cheers, mate. Ed Leahy. John, how are you doing? How are you doing, Ed? Week. Have you had a chance to think about the dressing room tomorrow night, putting that team talk, and then in terms of, would you agree that maybe the job only really begins in earnest once that whistle goes, and how you can react <coughs> to what you see in front of you and influence proceedings? Yeah, look, well, I agree in one sense, but disagree in the sense of obviously when we, you first get the players together and you're chatting to them the first time as well that's a key key part to set the tone for uh, the week ahead but ultimately what you said in terms of game time is is the crucial part and that's where the preparation comes into it the final details exactly that we'll put in place today and then a kind of a switch off for the boys to relax and uh, focus I think would be more so the word focusing on the kick off tomorrow and the planning and in terms of the uh, conversation or the uh, team talk beforehand tomorrow, look, that'll be straightforward in terms of what we'll be looking for, what will be needed from the players and ultimately bringing it all together to get a big performance to win at the Aviva. And just in terms of the players, we've been hearing from them this week and it's all been complimentary um, towards yourself. When do you think players really react and respond to the players who are now managers who, are, who played at the top level and really, um, you know, like yourself, just played in, the, in all the big games? No, look, it's, it's, look, I've worked under many managers that have played at different levels or whatever the case may have been. And it's just you're trying to get a connection as soon as you can with the players to make them feel relaxed. Because ultimately, they're the, as I've kind of stressed a little bit, they're the key to everything. They're the key to performing. They're the key to winning matches. And you just kind of have to get that connection with the group 
to go on whatever team is selected. They're backing each other up no matter what. And as I mentioned, there will be, it's the type of game, the intensity that's going to be needed. We'll be making changes at different stages that will hopefully maintain the strength of the team to maximise what we're talking about, that intensity for a full 90 plus minutes, as they say. Thank you. That ends the live section, so from this point onwards, is embargoed to a